Okay, here we're given the function theta t, which can be written as a times sine of omega t plus b. Okay, where a, omega, and phi are some are all some constant. And for the first part of our question, we are required to check. Uh, maybe we need to use this notation. The second derivative of theta with respect to t plus omega squared times theta is equal to zero. Okay, to check this equation, we know we need to compute the derivative of theta. Because to get the second second order derivative, we should we should get the first order derivative first, and by the chain rule, we know it will be equal to a times cosine omega t plus t times by the chain rule d omega t plus v dt. Okay, so it will be equal to a times omega squared times cosine omega t plus v. Okay, now the second derivative will be the derivative of this term. So the second derivative by definition will be equal to now a times cosine squared is just a constant. So it will be a times omega squared. And the derivative of a cosine will be minus sine. So times minus sine omega t plus v times by the chain rule we have the another term which is d omega t plus v over dt so we'll get uh, here we don't have omega square which we need to only have one square one omega because the derivative of this term is actually equal to omega. Okay. Here we q1 omega you know, can be written as this way. And the derivative of this one will be omega. So as we have two omega, so the second derivative will be equal to a times omega squared times minus sine omega. Plus v. Okay, now d theta over d, d square plus omega square plus v will be equal to minus a omega square sine omega t plus v plus omega times v and uh, omega times theta. Theta will be just equal to this term. So a sine omega t plus v. And as those two terms can be canceled, so we get our require we get the require uh, equi we get the required equation. Okay, now for the second part we want to show theta t can be written as a times sine omega t plus b times cosine omega t for some b, for some constant b. Okay, notice set t is actually equal to a times sine omega t plus b. And use the, I use some, use the property of the trigonometric function, we know sine omega plus t can be written as, okay, a is not changed by, by, by this, identity, so it can be written as sine omega t times cosine uh, cosine t plus sine v times cosine omega t. Okay, so it can be written as a times cosine v times sine omega t plus a times sine v times cosine, cosine omega t. Okay, here, define this as a prime and this as b prime. So we know 
how theta can be written as a prime times psi omega t plus b prime times cosine omega t. Well, a and a prime and b b prime are some constant. Okay, because as phi is a constant, cosine phi and sine phi are all constant again. 